let's see what we have here first. Move fat from your liver. Drink one cup of any of these drinks every single day. Number one is unsweetened organic coffee because it has liver protecting properties, which are mainly anti-inflammatory. Number two, green tea. The phytonutrient EGCG is a potent anti-inflammatory. Then we have beet juice. Beet juice is high in betaine, which can help reduce the fatty liver. Beet juice also increases glutathione, which is a powerful antioxidant. Then we have turmeric. Turmeric has something called curcumin, which is really good for your liver. It's another powerful anti-inflammatory and it can inhibit a fatty liver. Okay, wow. Um, so first things first, a uh, lot to unpack here. Uh, Dr. Eric Berg is not actually a doctor. He is a chiropractor. And chiropractors are not doctors because they don't have any knowledge about human anatomy or physiology. No knowledge about pharmacology, pharmacodynamics, pharmacokinetics. Which is why there is a lot of misinformation from this account since last many, many years. And uh, I think it's, it's important that we look at it one by one. To remove fat from your liver, drink one cup of any of these drinks every single day. Number one is unsweetened organic coffee because it has liver protecting properties, which are mainly anti-inflammatory. Number So he says drink one cup of any of these every single day. So if you look at the first one, which is coffee, uh, it's not one cup. It has to be at least three cups, 100 to 120 ml each. And it has to be unsweetened without you know milk, uh, no cream. Uh, but it's important to also realize that it is not the anti-inflammatory agents. It's too vague. Uh, that is, you know, uh, giving us the benefits of the coffee. It's something known as chlorogenic acid. It's a specific compound that is useful. And uh, this is why even decaf works. So if somebody cannot tolerate caffeine, they can go for decaf versions of uh, the black coffee. And chlorogenic acids is what helps us, which uh, he has failed to mention. It's not one cup. It's actually three cups. Uh, black coffee helps reduce fat deposition in the liver, reduces fatty liver disease, that is inflammation, reduces fibrosis or scarring from fatty liver, also reduces the risk of development of liver cancers. But these are all associations based on large population scale uh, studies. There, are, there is no actual causation. But if you want to look at one dietary item which is actually beneficial for the liver, it's black coffee. Number two, green tea. The phytonutrient EGCG is a potent anti-inflammatory. Then we have beet juice. Okay, so uh, green tea. So there are studies done on green tea too, where uh, they have looked at people with and without fatty liver disease and how the association is with green tea consumption. And it's uh, actually quite sad because it's not as good as coffee. So green tea lovers, I'm sorry to burst your bubble here. There is actually no good studies as much as coffee to show that uh, green tea is beneficial for the liver. And very importantly, that specific compound that he spoke about, that is EGCG, uh, it's a type of catechin and it's quite liver toxic. So if you if your consumption of EGCG is more than 800 milligrams per day, you are predisposed to developing severe liver injury because of green tea. And this is mostly found in green tea extracts. Those are the capsules or pills or powders that are sold as supplements in the market. They contain very high levels of EGCG in them and that can actually harm your liver. A simple normal cup of green tea contains anywhere between 50 to 180 milligrams of EGCG. So ideally, a safe uh, amount of green tea intake would be somewhere around two to three cups a day, uh, not beyond that. But then the whole point is that EGCG is not useful for the liver. It has not shown to be effective for fatty liver disease. So consumption of green tea, completely up to you. Uh, no benefits and uh, no evidence whatsoever. Beet juice is high in betaine, which can help reduce the fatty liver. Beet juice also increases glutathione, which is a powerful antioxidant. Then Okay, beet juice. Um, so beet juice contains uh, betaine. Uh, that is true, but it has no effect on fatty liver. Neither it reduces fatty liver or removes fat from the fatty liver. That is wrong. Uh, beet juice uh, increasing the content of glutathione is true, but that's not in the liver, that's in the brain. So there are studies done on uh, beet juice and betaine uh, where they have found out that glutathione, which is an antioxidant, increases in the brain and this has been mostly studied for alzheimer's disease and nothing to do with fatty liver and very importantly consumption of beet juice every day please know that there are compounds known as beta carotenoids in them and there are compounds known as uh, you know the retinoids which are you know vitamin a precursors and excessive vitamin a is toxic to the liver excessive beta carotenoids will make you look jaundiced there are i recently uh, did a video on how a woman came to me full yellow discolored fully yellowish and the only thing she was doing was drinking ABC juice. So please don't consume beet juice every day. It does not help you. 
and uh, the glutathione part that's misinformation that's not for the liver that's for the brain but then even then betaine the only use of betaine clinically is to treat a condition known as homocystinuria and uh, it's a genetic condition and absolutely nothing to do with the liver and next we have turmeric turmeric has something called curcumin which is really good for your liver it's another powerful anti-inflammatory and it can inhibit a fatty liver to remove fat okay so um turmeric so turmeric if you drink turmeric every day for example you put it in milk you put it in water you put it in whatever you want and drink it it does not help you at all because turmeric does not get absorbed in the human body about 98 percent of turmeric passes out in the stool and whatever two percent is absorbed in the body does not stay in the body for long enough for it to have any clinical benefit so basically you're wasting your turmeric there so don't just blindly go for turmeric based whatever drinks and think that is going to help your liver number two is there are ways that people increase the bioavailability of turmeric and that is by adding pepper to it or there are nano formulations available in the market especially curcumin which is the bioactive form of uh, inside turmeric and uh, these formulations have been shown to actually damage the liver so highly absorbable or highly potent formulations uh, of turmeric can actually injure the liver and this has been proven from multiple studies across the us europe and a uh, lot of governments including the australian government the italian government the us government they have all uh, given warning uh, health warnings uh, against people consuming turmeric supplements uh, for whatever the reason it be because turmeric has no actual benefits clinically relevant benefits for any human disease condition and uh, overconsumption or consumption of highly bioavailable forms of turmeric can actually harm you. So none of these uh, methods that he has basically discussed here is useful for the liver except for the black coffee part, which is also an association. It does not actually remove the fat. What you require to do for fat liver is to identify the causes for fat liver and treat the cause. Only then the effect will wear off. So next time with a new reaction video, take care and good luck.